Bro, for some reason, I was bricked and it would not go down. No matter how many times I did the Devil's Cream. And I was bricked for 24 hours. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba. And welcome back to another super embarrassing story. So this story all takes place back when I was in high school. And this was my grade 10 year. Now, in grade 10, one thing I will say was that I was known as a player. Meaning that, like, everyone in my school literally knew that I was pulling girls left and right. And I will say this. Yes, it led to a lot of girls not liking me. But at the same time, it made a lot of girls curious of how... How I was so good at doing the Duvel's Tango. But I remember one day specifically in my grade 10 year where basically I was sitting in the cafeteria with me and my friends and a girl ended up walking up to me. She walked up to me and said, hey, Baba, I was just wondering, what are you doing after school? Uh, nothing yet. Why? Uh, well, like I was wondering if you wanted to like hang out. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm down. I'm down is what I told her. And she walked away. My friends would usually see this happen all the time when I was hanging out with them because it was no question that, you know, I could pull girls. But I remember one of them looked at me and said, Baba, don't you ever like get tired, bro? just like doing it like don't you just ever like want to just not do it like do you have a day where you just are not active whatsoever and always in the mood uh not that i know of to be honest and my friends just ended up pausing staring at me really awkwardly but then kept going on with their day as the bell rang for class to start i remember i started walking towards my classroom and out of nowhere one of my friends ended up walking up to me saying yo bubba i just want to say bro like are you like taking anything to like you know keep yourself always active and stuff uh no why well like i have something i want you to try i'm scared to try it myself but i think you trying it might be a good idea i don't know uh sure what is it here give it to me he ended up going inside his backpack and he ended up pulling out these like little pills and i'm gonna say this right now for anyone in school no one should be taking random pills from your friends you never know what's gonna happen to you and this is just a learning lesson that i ended up paying for okay but basically what ended up happening was he pulled out these little pills that were like little white ones and i remember i looked at him saying uh bro what is that like tylenol like i don't have a headache or anything no nah, baba trust just take these bro apparently they're supposed to make you super active like super active active i mean i'm already pretty super active are you sure i should be taking these bro trust you'll be fine i think i just want to see if it works on you and if it does then i'll take it too uh okay sure but when do i take it uh you take it like right before you're about to do the duvel's tango okay well i guess i'll take it later then i ended up putting the pills in my backpack and i remember i ended up going to class and basically throughout the whole school day in my mind i had a question of what do these pills actually do if you guys know what they do then comment down below but me i didn't really know what these pills did and i was actually questioning if i should even take them or not because usually i'd never had you know a performance issue down there with my eggplant but going on with the story i remember after school came around and basically i ended up meeting up with this girl in the front of the school and me and her we started walking straight to the mall we walked around had a good time and stuff and then that's when she told me oh bubba i was just wondering do you want to like maybe head back to your place uh yeah sure i'm down is what i told her and we ended up going back to my place and well i remember when we got to my place and we started basically sitting in my bedroom we ended up making out and one thing led to another i remember that i had these pills so i ended up basically pushing her off me for a second and I said, yo, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. And I ended up grabbing my backpack as I was going to the bathroom and I ended up pulling out these pills. Now, when he gave me these pills, I just want to say that these pills were not in any sort of box or any sort of container. They were straight up in a plastic bag or not a plastic bag, but like a Ziploc bag. So I remember as I'm looking at these pills, I'm thinking to myself, okay, there's four of them in here. Do I take all four or do I just take one? And I didn't really know what to do. So I only did what was the smart decision and I took all four. Now I'm going to say this right now for anyone that, you know, takes any sort of pills or anything it can lead to very dangerous things and it's better safe than sorry but basically i ended up taking all four i ended up drinking water from the sink and i went back into the bedroom when i went back into the bedroom me and her we basically got back into the mood we ended up you know getting close and stuff and one thing led to another i started to realize like 20 minutes later that my eggplant was severely bricked like bricked than it's ever been in my life of doing the duvel's tango and at that moment i'm looking down at myself thinking whoa okay i guess and me and this girl we ended up doing the duvel's tango and i'm not joking no matter how many times me and her did the duvel's tango, I would never, and I mean ever, get unbricked. I was like permanently bricked. And I remember this girl, after like four hours of me and her doing it, she looks at me and says, Baba, are you just like not attracted to me? What's going on with you? I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure what, but it's okay. This happens usually. Uh, okay. Now, I totally ended up lying to this girl, but at the same time, I really had no idea what was going on with me. And I remember this girl ended up going home and me the whole day as I was just walking throughout my house, taking a shower, eating dinner with my family i was just always bricked and i didn't know why i remember i ended up basically that night tried to go to bed but i realized that for some reason i was not able to sleep because i was still bricked so in my mind i'm thinking you know what i'm just gonna you know beat my meat and get it over with and i started doing that one thing led to another i remember i ended up basically beating my meat until like 4 a.m at night i got no sleep that night since i was so well i guess 
caught up with trying to get my brickness down that it was just not stopping now i know the story sounds really weird but trust me it gets a lot worse because i remember the next day when i went to school instantly the first person i went to was my friend who gave me those pills and i walked up to him and said yo bro i need to talk to you right now uh yeah sure what's going on bubba no like i need to talk to you like right now come with me i ended up grabbing him by the wrist and i grabbed him and i dragged him to the bathroom and i ended up pushing him into a bathroom stall and said yo bro tell me what are these pills exactly i don't know some girl gave me them and like she said like it'll help us like you know do the devil's tango better but like i didn't trust her so like i ended up giving it to you well bro i've been bricked the entire day since yesterday when you gave me them i am not joking i've been bricked for almost 24 hours like why isn't this going down i remember he looked at me and kind of started to worry because obviously like it's really not easy being bricked for this long and he ended up saying to me okay bubba I have a question. When I gave you the pills, how many did you take? Uh, everything that was in the bag. You took all four of them? I remember at that moment, he started freaking out and he said, bro, you're only supposed to take one. What are you doing? Well, you didn't say that, nor did you write it down. So I thought I should just take all of them. No wonder you're bricked, bro. You took way more than you should have. At that moment, me and my friend, we ended up searching up like pills that make you bricked and we ended up finding out what pill it was, but we didn't know exactly what brand or what type it was because, well, like he said earlier, he ended up getting those from a girl. So I remember me being super bricked with my buddy which is really awkward to say but me and my friend we ended up walking throughout the school trying to find the girl that he was seeing and when we finally found her we ended up basically grabbing her by the wrist like straight up not any conversation or words were passed between each other and we pulled her aside into a classroom and asked her about everything i remember when we told her everything she ended up laughing actually and she said to us oh my goodness you guys know like that was only supposed to be for him because he can't handle me and i wanted him to last longer me just standing there awkwardly i didn't know what to say because well like you know that's their devil's tangle life not mine but one thing led to another she ended up saying that in a couple hours it should go down and well she was right i want to say like around lunchtime that day finally went down and luckily for me i ended up not being bricked anymore but i will say this i did not end up beating my eggplant or doing the devil's tango for an entire week after that because i needed to rest and that was like only one of the first times i actually got to rest after doing the devil's tango the real question is though would you guys ever take pills like this because if you guys would then just fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.